Hi kids! Today we will learn about rock cycle. So let's start! Kids, we learned that there are three types of rocks. Igneous rocks, metamorphic rocks, and sedimentary rocks. Igneous rocks, lava or magma, forms igneous rocks on hardening. Sedimentary rocks. The weathering of all types of rocks creates small sediments that harden into sedimentary rocks. Metamorphic. Sedimentary rocks and igneous rocks may get trapped at great depth beneath the Earth's surface under high temperature and pressure. And this extreme temperature and pressure makes the rocks undergo physical and chemical changes, which is called metamorphosis. And sedimentary and igneous rocks changes to metamorphic rocks. Now here we have the formation of different types of rocks in a cyclic manner. Let's have a look. Firstly, there is molten matter inside the earth, which is called magma. And this magma on cooling and crystallization forms intrusive igneous rocks with bigger crystals as magma cools down very slowly. And when this magma comes out of the earth and cools down and crystallizes, it forms extrusive igneous rocks. Lava coming out of the earth forms extrusive igneous rocks and smaller crystals that shine. The process of weathering breaks all types of rocks and creates small sediments. These sediments are carried away by the process of erosion and form layers on the beds of the rivers and with the processes of cementation and compaction, these layers create sedimentary rocks. And these igneous and sedimentary rocks get trapped under high temperature and pressure. And this extreme temperature and pressure makes the rocks undergo physical and chemical changes, which is called metamorphosis. And these sedimentary and igneous rocks change to metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks can be low grade or high grade depending on how much they have changed. Low grade metamorphic rocks still appear very similar to the parent rock, while high grade metamorphic rocks have been changed so much that they look very different from the parent rock. And metamorphic rocks on melting again form magma. Our Earth's crust constantly changes. So, three types of rocks are found on the Earth, that is, igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. And all these types of rocks change to other types of rocks. And this is what we call rock cycle. Now let's revise. What is this rock cycle? And how different types of rocks change to other types of rocks? We have all the three types of rocks already present on the earth. And upon weathering, that is, by breaking down of any rock into smaller pieces, rocks change to sediments that get settled on the beds of rivers, seas, and oceans. And ultimately change to sedimentary rocks by the process of compaction and cementation. And every type of rock, whether it is igneous or sedimentary or metamorphic when trapped beneath the earth's surface at a great depth experiences great pressure 
and temperature that change it to metamorphic rocks by the process of metamorphosis. So, till now we have learned that weathering changes rocks into small sediments that changes into sedimentary rocks. And every type of rock, whether it is igneous or sedimentary or metamorphic, when trapped beneath the Earth's surface at a great depth, experiences great pressure and temperature. And this process and temperature starts the process of metamorphosis in the rocks that changes the types of rocks to metamorphic rocks. Now let's learn how igneous and sedimentary or metamorphic rocks get changed into lava or magma. If any type of rock experiences very high temperature and pressure, it gets changed into magma. That is, it gets melted down to magma. And we know that magma changes to two types of igneous rocks. It can be intrusive igneous rocks and extrusive igneous rocks. And there is continuous transformation from one type of rock to another type of rock. And this is called rock cycle. So kids, today we learned what is rock cycle. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.